I've gotten us a party bus, reservations at a delightful steakhouse. There are few things better in life than a great, big, juicy steak. Luckily, there are plenty of high-quality steakhouses out there. So here to steer you in the right direction are the 10 best chain steak restaurants in America. The Outback Steakhouse. Are you a big who loves eating at Outback Steakhouse but thinks the portions are too small? You won't find kangaroo or crocodile on the Outback Steakhouse menu, but you will find delicious and juicy steaks. The Aussie-themed steakhouse chain has been serving up mouth-watering grub since way back in 1988. The Outback Steakhouse has earned quite a reputation over the years, and today it's one of the best chain steakhouses around. For starters, it's affordable. You certainly get a lot of bang for your buck. The meat is high quality and the menu is extensive. You can't go wrong with a bloomin' onion either. If you go to the Outback Steakhouse and don't order a bloomin' onion, you might be off your rocker. Are you nuts? That spicy and creamy bloom sauce is so scrumptious that we wouldn't blame you if you drank it by the bowlful. The Outback Steakhouse has more than 700 locations in the United States alone, and it's really no surprise that the chain is so popular. Besides the steak, Outback aficionados also go crazy for the Gold Coast coconut shrimp. Don't worry, we didn't forget about the beef. Your best bet at the Outback Steakhouse might be the bone-in natural cut ribeye. It's so tender and juicy that it will melt in your mouth. Sure, it's not on par with a high-end steakhouse in Manhattan, but it's mighty tasty for a chain restaurant steak. Add a bacon bit packed baked potato on the side and you're in carnivore heaven. Wolfgang Steakhouse. I know this amazing steakhouse, and the chef's an absolute artist in the kitchen. Wolfgang's Steakhouse can be pretty pricey, but you won't find too many people complaining. It's well worth shelling out a few extra bucks for quality. Wolfgang's has pedigree. This legendary restaurant chain was founded by Wolfgang's Wiener. Okay, the name might not sound familiar, but trust us, he's the real deal. Zwiener got his start waiting tables at the famous Peter Luger Steakhouse in New York City. Let's just say he knows steak. At Wolfgang's, the beef is dry-aged in-house. That's a rarity when it comes to chain steakhouses. There are only seven Wolfgang's steakhouses in the U.S., five of which are in New York City, but Wolfgang's is so good there could easily be as many locations as as McDonald's. We are everywhere. Wolfgang's has proven to be so popular in New York City that there are now locations in Singapore and Japan. You know Wolfgang's is good when it can make it in Tokyo. The Wolfgang steak sandwich might be just as delicious as bluefin tuna sashimi. If you find yourself on Broadway in the Big Apple, be sure to visit Wolfgang's after catching a Broadway show. The filet mignon with mushroom sauce is to die for. And you can order up a rasher of bacon on the side if you're extra hungry. Morton's The Steakhouse. Jersey Boys, Morton Steakhouse, Foxwoods. Morton's claims to have the best steak anywhere. That may be up for debate, but there's no denying that the steaks at Morton's are top notch, if you catch them on a good day. Some foodies say the steaks can be hit or miss. However, most of the time they are juicy, mouth watering, and succulent. Morton's was founded in Chicago back in 1978 when a fresh faced Bill Murray was cracking wise on SNL. Today, the famous steakhouse has 70 locations across the U.S., and the chain still uses the same meat supplier from the 70s. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Morton's is a classy joint. It's reminiscent of the fancy steakhouses you'd see on Mad Men, so be sure to dress up when you head over for a filet mignon. Peter, come on, time to get dressed for our Valentine's Day dinner. All the beef at Morton's is USDA Prime. We're talking the best of the best here, and the selection is truly astounding. There are three varieties of ribeye, or you can chow down on a porterhouse or New York strip. If you're steering clear of beef, pardon the pun, you can chow down on some king crab legs, escargot, and lobster tails, which are fresh and tasty. Those friendly crustaceans look mighty good paired with a $75 tomahawk ribeye. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. 
-hmm. Black Angus is just a cheaper knockoff of Ruth's Chris. Everyone's heard of Ruth's Chris. It might be the most famous steakhouse in the world, and the beef there is so delicious that it might even convince vegans to switch sides. Back in 1965, Louisiana-based businesswoman and restaurateur Ruth Fertel purchased a dying steakhouse in the Big Easy. She transformed that fledgling steakhouse into an empire. Today, there are more than 140 Ruth's Chris locations around the globe, and food fans can't get enough of the steakhouse's delectable cuts of beef. There's even a Ruth's Chris Steakhouse in Manila. Jolly Bee better watch out. A Jolly Burger steak is nothing compared to a sizzling butter-soaked porterhouse from Ruth's Chris. You're welcome to challenge me, Veronica but you'll lose. The butter is what really sets Ruth's Chris apart. What other steakhouse serves up a ribeye in a pool of sizzling butter? Clarified butter is actually added to the steaks right when they leave the kitchen. Let's just say you should avoid Ruth's Chris if you have a heart condition. Even a 24-ounce T-bone isn't worth a triple bypass. Or is it? Mastro's Steakhouse. And I met a girl at Mastro's. Was she also your waitress? Yes. Mastro's first opened its doors in Scottsdale, Arizona in 1999. Today, Mastro's is one of the most popular steakhouse chains in the U.S. It's also one of the best. There are 18 Mastro's locations around the good old U.S. of A, and each location has an incredibly eclectic menu. You can chow down on everything from A5 Japanese Wagyu that's perfectly marbled with fat to king crab black truffle gnocchi. To say the food at Mastro's is decadent would be an understatement. Mastro's is heaven on earth for a foodie. They serve foie gras, shellfish towers, and even innovative sushi rolls. You can eat almost everything. Be sure to try some roasted bone marrow with your $69 bone-in Kansas City strip loin. You won't regret it, even if your pants feel a bit tighter around the waist. Longhorn Steakhouse he told me it's a Longhorn. Yeah, a Texas Longhorn. No, just a Longhorn. Despite being founded in Georgia, the Longhorn Steakhouse definitely has a Texas flair. The steaks here are extremely affordable, which isn't surprising considering Longhorn is a casual steakhouse. You don't need to wear a tux, jeans, and a t-shirt will do just fine. However, you might need to wear a bib because the Texas brisket queso can get a little messy. It gets messy. Messy? Messy. There are so many options at the Longhorn Steakhouse. You can enjoy a mouth-watering outlaw ribeye or a flame-grilled T-bone. They're trimmed and cooked to perfection with the perfect amount of seasoning. The fire grill adds a nice char to Longhorn steaks. You'll definitely feel like a cowboy when you eat at the Longhorn Steakhouse. If you're wondering what appetizer to choose, might we suggest the deep-fried pickles? They have the perfect amount of snap and are extremely flavorful. Del Frisco's Double Eagle Steakhouse. Steaks. Del Frisco's on me. The best way to describe Del Frisco's is elegant and opulent. The steaks here are some of the best in the world, and it's extremely unlikely you'll have a bad meal at Del Frisco's. If you're looking to splurge and spend an entire week's paycheck, this is the place to go. If you had as much money as Jeff Bezos, you'd probably eat here every night. The options at Del Frisco's are practically endless. You can choose from three different sizes of filet, five different kinds of ribeye, and three different New York strip loins. If good old-fashioned Angus beef isn't to your liking, you can enjoy the A5 Japanese Wagyu, which is so pristine it looks like the star of its very own movie. You can even indulge and enjoy some caviar if your wallet is fat enough. Of course, I already have a lot of money. <laughs> if you're looking for some slightly more affordable options to pair with your steak, you can order the onion ring tower or lobster mac and cheese. If you're looking to save money, be on the lookout for weekend prefix and lunch deals. You don't have to be Mr. Moneybags to eat a Del Frisco Steakhouse, but it sure helps. The Capitol Grill 
You spent $15,000 at the Capitol Grill. What the f*** are you eating? The Capitol Grill has a menu nearly as long as a George R.R. R. Martin novel, and that's just one of the reasons that foodies love this steakhouse so much. There are so many options to choose from. You really can't go wrong, no matter what you order. Your best bet might just be the gorgonzola and black truffle encrusted dry-aged New York strip loin. Patrons also speak wonders of the Capitol Grill Porter House. Some even say it's the best porterhouse in the entire country. The best of the best. If you're feeling adventurous, why not start off with the steak tartare? Or perhaps you could try the seafood platter. The shellfish platter at the Capitol Grill features a one-pound lobster and a wide variety of seasonal crustaceans and mollusks. If you're not in the mood for steak, the Capitol Grill also serves up tasty pork chops and savory lamb. If you want to try something more risque, you can always opt for the veal tomahawk chop with gorgonzola butter. Smith and Walensky. Well, it's a steakhouse. Oh, yum! At Smith and Walensky, steaks are a serious business. This chain might be small, but it's easily one of the best in the world. Smith and Walensky was founded way back in 1977 when Luke Skywalker first appeared on the big screen. Today, there are just seven Smith and Walensky steakhouses in the United States, but each one features some of the best beef in the biz. The steaks at Smith and Walensky are sourced from the finest ranches in the country, and the USD. DA Prime steaks are dry aged for 28 days. The dry aging process makes the meat extra tender. So tender, in fact, that you can enjoy these steaks even if you had less teeth than a pro hockey player. The steak melts in your mouth. You don't even have to chew. Chew, chew, chew. Swallow, swallow, swallow. If you have a Paul Bunyan sized appetite, you need to try the 64 ounce porterhouse. You heard correctly, 64 ounces. Even the most seasoned professional eaters would have a tough time with a steak that big. It's not quite as big as the old 96er from the great outdoors, but it's a massive nonetheless. If you want your steak with a bit more spice, then you should try the Cajun marinated bone in ribeye. It might burn your tongue but it's worth it. The steak is the main show at Smith & Walensky, but there are plenty of other offerings if you're not in the mood for high-end, dry-aged beef. The spice-crusted lamb chops are absolutely heavenly, and you can't go wrong with the fried angry shrimp and lobster butter sauce. They're so tasty, you'll go mad. The Palm Steakhouse. The best damn steakhouse in the damn state. The original Palm was an institution, and all of the 24 Palm locations in the U.S. have the same jovial and fun atmosphere. And let's not forget the food. The steaks at the Palm are unparalleled and world-class. Forget 28-day dry-aged steaks. That simply won't suffice at the Palm. All the steaks at this steakhouse are dry-aged for at least 35 days. Those extra days make the meat even more tender. That's what sets the Palm apart from the competition. The Palm is a favorite destination for both foodies and celebrities alike. Whenever a new Palm location opens, local celebs donate their likenesses to caricatures that align the walls. Frankly, you'll feel like a celeb when you dine at the Palm, even if you're a regular old Joe. Well, you must feel like a celebrity. Be sure to try the 18-ounce New York strip loin with roasted peppers and sautéed onions. Finding a better steak might be tougher than winning a gold medal at the Olympics. If you have a Winnie the Pooh bear-sized rumble in your tummy, then you ought to try the 26-ounce bone-in ribeye. Do yourself a favor and order it rare or medium rare. A well-done steak is a crime against nature. There are plenty of other classic steakhouse dishes on the menu at the Palm. Why not start off your meal with a shrimp cocktail or one of Sinatra's favorites like Clam's Casino? Bon Appetit! Take a bite out of more great videos. Just tap or click. Leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.